Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Frost Bite, where this episode, back to the drag race looks, this time season numero 4 as we go from my top 10 favorite looks of the season. Now things are getting a little spicier this season in terms of the looks. It's definitely, every season of these initial seasons is just increasing, although last season was Raja. So aside from Raja, it's really, <laughs> well, you know what, I take it back, season four, Nowhere near as good as season three, just saying. But number 10 0, LaShawn Beyond's interest look. Now, I love this type of material. It's the, the catsuit with the holes. It's gold, it's shiny, it's sexy. It's got the black and the gold, and I'm from New Orleans, so go Saints. One of the few sports references you'll ever hear on this channel. But LaShawn Beyond is my numero 10 0 because, honey, I would wear this in a heartbeat, and she looks gorge like what's her name? Got Nick says. Now, Fifi O'Hara, not the most problematic person from this season, but certainly a controversial figure in the drag race scene, you know, telling people to go back to Party City and such, which is an iconic line, and I still use it daily, because, I mean, that's one of my affirmations in the mirror. Go back to Party City, bitch. And also, if you're wondering where my Vorg is, or my Borg, my Borv, my Blackout Rage Venti, I'm about to head out to Vegas, so I'm not drinking until I get there. Uh, anyway, Fifi O'Hara's President's Inaugural Ball, honey. Beautiful dress. Fifi looks gorgeous. Her skin tone, her hair, the earrings, the dress, the shape. Mwah. Chef Et's kiss. Moving on up, Kenya's promo look. I love black on silver, black on gold. I think those are black on anything. I mean, black on red. I mean, come on. It's fashionable. Black goes with everything. And Kenya looks amazing in this look. And I love the little collar because it's fucking hot. Next up, Willem Defoe. Or just Willem. Uh, her dress to impress look, catsuit. But hey, she's got the pauldron. She's got the boots. She's got the purse, the hat, the lipstick, honey. Willem looks fantastic. And this is one of my favorite well, it's my seventh favorite look of season four. Moving on up, Chad Michaels, the queen. Her platinum and gold look. Simple, but it's all the pieces together that make this look so beautiful to me. Now, of course, it's a long sleeve, long high neck dress, which I'm all about. But the hair, honey, the gold forehead, she sells it, she wears it. It does not wear her, as they love to say on every other episode of Drag Race, because it's true. But Chad Michael's number six. Number five, Latrice Royale in one of the prettiest blue, well, the second prettiest blue on this list. Love this dress. Latrice wears it like uh, the queen that she is. Looks amazing. Love the necklace. Love the jewelry. Love everything about this look from Latrice Royale. Number four, Princess's finale look. Now who? Yeah, that's, she didn't last long. Sorry, but this look, honey, this pussy bow sleeveless dress with the black gloves and the belt and the hair. I'm not a, I would probably, I can never wear this hair, but honey, this is iconic for me. I think this look is absolutely amazing. The earrings, everything about it, just beautiful. She, it's a shame she didn't show this earlier in the season because this look is fan freaking tastic. Number 3-0, oh, she who shall not be named by most people, but this look is pretty badass. Especially then when spooky drag wasn't predominant, which is why she who should not be named, to quote the drag detective, dessert, this outfit, this outfit, we're celebrating the outfit, not the person wearing it for this instance, but the dress, the Ouija board for, headpiece, the Cruella de Vil hair, love this look, period. And that's all I love about it. Number two, the best blue of the season, Willem's boat look. Now she says in the runway, I don't like her boat. I think her boat's terrible, sorry Willem. But this look, her hair, the sex in the city moment, I am living for it, I want this jacket, this coat, whatever, whichever it is, it might be both, I don't know. I want it so bad in every fucking color. It is so gorgeous, she wears it like a, the boss that she fucking is when she struts down this runway and that's why she won this fucking challenge. I, mean, I don't think it's because of the boat. I think it's because of the fucking coat and how she owned the goddamn runway. But, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, my favorite look of season four would have to be Chad Michaels' red carpet look. Now, the hair, living for it. The makeup, living for it. The dress, living multiple lives for it. Reincarnating Shirley MacLaine style, darling. Because this outfit is not just the best of the season, it's one of my favorite of all time. This is just 
sexy drag. And it's when I say it's sexy drag, it's my aesthetic sexy drag. Because these are my favorites. I'm sure you disagree on a lot of these. Maybe some of them, or at least the placement, and that's fine. Leave your comments down below and let me know. So, anyway, Chad Michaels rightfully takes the crown, as she showed her this season as well. Hot take, maybe, maybe not in hindsight, for season four of RuPaul's Drag Race. So by now, subscribe here with my cute little face, and up here's a video that YouTube thinks you should watch based on all the other weird shit that you watch. So let me know in the comments down below what this one is. Smash my like button, all that other fun shit that people say that you should do. And as always, stay fucking frosty.